Yeah, he's absolutely, you know, he's a great teacher. He's a great teacher of mine, and he knows so much about movies, about literature. Um, but he also, like, he's an actor's director. Creating Lucille, it was a partnership with Guillermo. He had written me this backstory on from the day she was born until the moment the movie begins, and we, a lot of the times we were working on a scene, um, he would be right with me. He would understand if Tom, Tom would do something and I would react a certain way, he would know why. But only he and I would because we, you know, we knew Lucille's secrets and no one else on set did. So he was a great ally and protector um, for this character and not making her just kind of the stereotype or this one note um, human being. I thought it was going to be a fun, fun character to play because that's what the, you know, the stereotype is. That's, isn't that what everyone says? And then I was on set and I was like, oh, I don't understand. I thought, you know, these characters have the most fun. And Tom turned to me and goes, they only have, you only have fun if your character's having fun. And Lucille, she's not the typical person who's like, ha, 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 look what I'm going to do next. She really always comes from a place of pain and from a place of this desire to be loved and to feel intimacy and this kind of like loneliness. And so when coming from that every day, you're like, whoa, my gosh, I just want to do a comedy now. <laughs> you know, I'm not conscious. I don't think in terms of like the movements, you know, what, when am I going to pick up a glass or anything like that, um, unless it's something that needs to be chore choreographed because of safety. Right. Um, but in terms, what I, what I really just tried to do is like, for this character, I tried to get her backstory so in me that I felt like I kind of created this human being out of nothing, out of words on a, on a page. And, you know, by doing that and then learning the piano and all these, the accent work, all these things, and then being on set and then just being open to what the person opposite me is doing. And in those scenes with Tom, like, depending on he's, how he's saying a line is going to depend how I return um, another line. And, and so I usually try to keep to instinct when that's happening. Absolutely, as we all are. <laughs> um, yeah, it was really important for me to see that. I, I want to do movies where I get to act with act wonderful actresses because there's incredible actresses out there. And Mia um, is, is one of them. Um, I, I think it's important, that this story, because it goes on so much. Like, he was even talking about the a stereotype of the of a horror genre is once the female character has sex, uh oh, that's the worst thing you could do. Then you're gonna die, you know. And this idea that you have to be pure and chaste. And he goes, no, he wanted the lead character to be sensual and like a real woman, and it not mean that she was gonna be punished for it. Which, come on, how awesome is that? <laughs>